Hope you're having a good day. And as we're going to see here in the little section of Genesis uh, that we're going to look at today, the baker does not have as good of a day. Uh, remember, we're interpreting dreams here. We have the cupbearer and the baker from Pharaoh. They have been thrown in prison. They're suspected of some type of crimes. And so uh, Joseph is interpreting their dreams. He interpreted the cupbearer's dream. It was good. You're going back to work, son. You're going to be Pharaoh's cupbearer. You're going to be back in your place. Everything's going to be okay. Well, the baker's a little different story. Verses 16 through 19. It says, When the chief baker saw that Joseph had given the first dream such a positive interpretation, he said to Joseph, I had a dream too. In my dream, there were three baskets of white pastry stacked on my head. The top basket contained all kinds of pastry for Pharaoh, but the birds came and ate them from the basket on my head. So far, you know, okay, yeah, yeah. Three, we're, we're working, everything's working out. And then the interpretation in verse 18. This is what the dream means, Joseph told him. The three baskets also represent three days. So far, so good. Verse 19. Three days from now, Pharaoh will lift you up and impale your body on a pole. Then birds will come and peck away at your flesh. That's not as good. That's not as good as the one for the cupbearer. So I'm sure the baker was encouraged that his companion got a good report. And his dream was interpreted that everything was going to be fine. But Joseph didn't have that message. And Joseph was faithful to deliver the message of judgment just as he was faithful to deliver the message of freedom, of restoration. Same, same interpretations. He didn't waver. He didn't back off. And you know that speaks a little bit to us as Christians today with the message of the Word of God that we have. Because God's Word is a message of hope. There is so much hope. There is salvation. There is forgiveness. There is restoration. There is eternal life. There is the sacrifice of Jesus Christ for us to receive those things. It is hopeful. There is joy. But in the message of the gospel, in the message of God's Word, there is also judgment. There is what happens apart from trusting God, apart from faith in God. There is the consequences of sin that takes place in our lives that we see across both the Old Testament and the New Testament. From the Israelites uh, and the golden calf in the book of Exodus, as we've been talking about the Ten Commandments on Sunday mornings at, at First Baptist, to the beautiful temple that Solomon built as he faithfully followed God, to the New Testament, to the disciples in their salvation, to the death of Ananias and Sapphira for their lies and falsehoods in the book of Acts. It runs the gamut. And we, just as Joseph, had a duty to be honest with what God showed him because this was not him interpreting these dreams. This is what God was showing him in this moment. God gifted him and showed him the truth of this. It's hard because the message that God sends to us isn't always of beautiful days and roses. Judgment is true. Judgment is real. Judgment can be hard. But it is what the Bible shows us. Let us be as faithful in telling the word, the truth, the world, the truth of who God is, just like Joseph did here. Both the good and the bad. See you guys later.